the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays for you guys today out of my pistol playbook. This playbook here, I'm absolutely obsessed with this playbook. I really just wanted to kind of like dabble in it, but now that I'm in it, I really can't get out. So I'm going to, at the very least, I'm going to put out an ebook out of this pretty soon. Uh, I'll have full video breakdowns for this on my Patreon and on my Join Now community tab. Um, but for sure, I mean, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more of this stuff. Let me know by hitting the like button if you want to see more of this stuff. Or if you guys would be interested in those, uh, especially the ebook, because that's those are pretty lengthy to make. Uh, because I'm just I'm so. I'm so deep into this playbook now. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like the, I mean, I already put out several formations. I put links in the description for the ones that I've already done. But I already put out the full house. I put out gameplays out of all these as well. I already put out the bunch te, and I've already put out gameplay from the week I, which is what I'm going to be focusing on today because I've had a lot of requests since I put out that gameplay. A lot of people saying that they want passing plays to go with that. Uh, but without a doubt, this is all about the run plays. Now, one of the most important things when it comes to the run plays in this formation, like I said, I'll give you guys some passing plays. Uh, towards this, the back half of this video but you want to make sure that you put um, somebody at this this fullback spot here typically I just go double running back so like I could go with like a Mark Ingram and be totally cool with that you could also go with like sometimes I'll use my tight end because I want somebody that can kind of block because there's two run plays so I could easily take uh, I could swap Nick Boyle here uh, and then I could go with Mark Andrews if you want more explosive run plays it's probably best to go with um, a, a running back here, uh, but I'm going to go with tight end because I, I looked into it and I think he's a pretty good, uh, pretty solid addition. So the run plays, as far as the run plays go, is really just two. two. It's going to be um, the halfback zone week, and the second play is going to be the triple option. And then before I get into the video, as always, this video is brought to you by my corner sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, I currently got a 96. Trying to get that 97 before next weekend league. Do me a favor. Check it out, link in the description below, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, as far as the reads go, one of the things I like about this particular play is I could really run. Like, I'm telling you right now, based off of the look of this formation on defense, I could use either one of these run plays. It's really simple, and the way that I broke it down in the original gameplay, like I said, I'll have a link in the description for that, is you're really just looking for two things. One thing, really, is your formation on defense spread or is a pinch? Because when you're playing against people online, they're going to constantly be trying to pinch to take away the inside runs or spread to take away the the outside run so no matter what they do you just basically counter that like i said this is a default defense so i don't really have to worry about that i can pretty much run like i said whatever i want but if your opponent's pinching the defense to try to take away the halfback zone week you just switch to the triple option and the triple option has two different options you can go to left or right so your opponent's never really going to know where the plan is so like i said on this first play though i'm just going to go i'm going to try to hit that gap anytime you have the defensive end out wide like, like that and that's not even out as wide as it could be it could be out much wider but i'm going to go ahead and just try to take an easy five you can see right there my blocker completely whiffed on that on that player but i still got back to the line so like i said it's definitely a safe run let's do that again like i said there's another scenario i could probably go straight back to that you can see how there um you know that's that's why you want that defensive end out wide because he pretty much takes himself out of the play We'll go to the replay on that just to show you guys, like I said, anytime this guy's out wide like that, obviously it's going to be harder to run the outside runs because he's just going to have outside leverage. But when he's out wide like that, he's just going to take himself out of the play. That's why you run this play when you have that look. Anytime that guy's out wide, he's going to take himself out and you're just going to basically have a stretch run. So like I said here, once again, now we have a good look. It's a little bit more compact, a little bit more tight. I could definitely go triple option. I could go either way with this. So you're definitely going to want a mobile quarterback. That's why I picked the Ravens to do this. Uh, but if you're going to, there's a really easy read. I'll run the play one time, and then I'll go to the practice mode to this, to show you guys what you're looking for when it comes to deciding whether to hold A and hand off like I did there, even though I ran it a little bit too close to the line, or whether you want to decide to, uh, to hold it with the quarterback and flip it out. Like I said, to run this play, you just hold the A button, and you hand it off to this guy. But how do you know if it's best to do that or to keep it with the quarterback? It's really simple. You're really only watching one guy on this play. Every time I run this play, I'm watching this linebacker, or if there's a safety in this, this area, I'm watching that safety. And it's really simple. This guy here on the line, he's guaranteed to get blocked. He's right in front of the offensive line. He's right in front of the tight end. This guy is the guy that can mess the play up. So that's why I'm watching him. So here we go once again. Real easy read this time. I mean, there's... Because there's no real, they're shifted to the left. So this is just a really easy pre-snap read. I'm just taking this wide. 
wide. And if that cornerback, I mean, you can go outside of that cornerback. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, this guy definitely has plenty of speed to run this. This is why I said you don't really need a running back there. You definitely have enough speed with the tight end to do it because the read's most important. Here we have a guy blitzing off that edge. I don't really have gaps. Uh, I could run the zone weak. I probably wouldn't get a ton. But since we have a blitzer coming off of that side, it's real simple. I'm just going to go to this triple option, and I'm going to hand it to the running back on the other side. As you can see right there, now we have a play we can go both ways. He really did a good job of coming back that tackle. I thought I was going to get that, get, break that block. So as far as the replay goes, once again, when you're going to go to the pitch side, you want to make sure that you hold the ball as long as possible because your quarterback is a blocker. You can see right here, the guy did come off the edge, so obviously I couldn't go that direction. But this guy here just gets an instant shed. He's right in the quarterback's face. You can run with the quarterback. If nobody shows up, you can hold it and continue to run with your quarterback, especially if you got Lamar Jackson. But since this guy's right in his face, I want to make sure I take him out. So I make him tackle the quarterback, and you will get this pitch animation. You can wait even longer than I did. I feel like I pitched it kind of early. I like to sometimes wait till he makes contact just as long as he's not completely blowing my guy up. And you can see you can get that pitch out just by hitting the left bumper button, and boom, you're off to the races because you essentially acted as a blocker. You acted as your own blocker by holding the ball long enough to make sure you take out this this free defender before you get it out to the running back and then you can see there's just nothing but space out here once again so let's go ahead and let's show a couple of one play touchdowns to finish this video i don't know how many of these are going to make youtube and how many of these are going to make my patreon and my join out community tab so if uh you know if i sign off and i still have plays left over they're going to all go to those uh sites so make sure to check that out link in the description below if you want to do that or hit the join button but i'm going to start off with the pa crossers this is probably one of the more uh explosive plays so we're going we'll pick that so the most important part when it comes to beating cover three now is you have to run to the open side of the field you need to spread this defense out i just put out a breakdown of something similar to this i'll put a link in the description for that as well on how to beat the new cover three defenses i, I motion in the x route that's probably the most important part motion him in put him on a streak that's pretty much all you have to do the a route there is optional i'll leave him doing what he's doing for now uh, but you can see that basically that um, that tight end, once he comes across, he pulls that cornerback away. So let's go and let's let's watch the replay, although I, I jumped the gun there a little bit. Let's go Let's watch the replay. This is uh, the new cover three. Basically, these outside cornerbacks react very heavily to crossers. So you can see right here, he slows down waiting for this oncoming crossing tight end to jump all over that and the second he does that that's when you throw it to that streak because this guy here he's way out of position um you know that's basically the the whole point of running it to the open side of the field is to get this safety out of position but once he uh slows down you pretty much just bullet pass lead away i'm probably throwing it right about here once that cornerback turns his attention away i'm probably already loading up and you can see the, the throwing animation the bullet the pass lead it's really all you got to do so like I said, these new cover threes, man, these new cover threes. So like I said, you have options. You can leave that uh, check down or you can uh, put them on a streak. I find that you can do uh, either way and have success with this uh, because this guy will still react to the crossing receiver even though he's not even in the area. I would say if you're playing Mutt, that would be the scenario where you want to streak this tight end because the idea of the streaking tight end is to occupy that safety and slow him down. Uh, and a streaking tight end right at him will do that. But you can see how here, once again, guy, he stops. He basically freezes. He turns his attention to the possibility of this guy crossing the field, even though he never even gets there and never gets close. This particular play is one of the better plays when it comes to doing that. There's another setup you can do where you motion this guy in and put him on a streak and then put the B route on a drag. Now, this here will give you a middle high low concept where this x route will still get open based off of the fact that that guy's still going to try to take on that crossing route but it also depends on where you run it this play is also a cover for one play touchdown uh, you just want to make sure you have your fastest receiver in the home run spot so we'll just go ahead and we'll swap them around but this play pa crossers can home run two different defenses at least so we're going to pick uh cover four i think the dollar has one if i remember correctly all you have to do here is just block the tight end and put the x route here on a smoke screen and that's it that's all you got to do uh and you just have to wait for the uh the block and hold up and then the b route here to basically get inside of the free safety and it's just a really easy one play touchdown as you can see even with the superstar ability of bayard he <laughs> lighting up he's not going to stop that play so let's just go to the replay real quick i might run this one more time but it's really simple i mean you'll have plenty of blocking in this formation um, um, because this uh, this guy over here, basically, you know, there's nothing for the safeties to react to. They all just kind of stop and wait. 
and you can't do that. You have to be, have to you lose all your acceleration when you do that. So that's why when this guy comes through, uh, you know, flying like a bullet, they're they're dropping back. You know what I mean? Like these two safeties are reacting, but by the time he gets inside here, these guys pretty much have no acceleration. This guy has a little bit of a backpedal going, but not nearly enough to flip his hips and make a play. And that's why all you have to do is wait for him to get inside of that free safety. Once he gets inside that free safety, it's a home run right there. Once he's inside of it, I'm already throwing bullet pass lead away from the strong safety into one play touchdown so we're going to do that one more time the a route like i said give yourself a lot of blocking uh this is something this is a shot play you're trying to take a shot that's why this works the way that it does because it's designed to work this way it's not a glitch play there's plenty of shot plays in the game that work the exact same way this one here you're just basically create your own shot play so that's it that's the vid i still got a few more plays if you guys want to see them in a future video a full breakdown of this on youtube hit the like button let me know in the comment section but for now i'm going to save them for my patreon and for my join now community members so if you want to check them out you can always hit the links other than that like i said i will be doing the pistol ebook as soon as possible because i think it's a phenomenal book so be on the lookout for that and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below